We're talking about growing up. That was in Texas? Yeah. Is that um, correct? Or well, no? Missouri. Oh, it was Missouri. Was okay. Seven, eight, eight years old, pretty much. Um, I moved to Texas. My, my mother let my sister and I pick a state wherever we wanted to go. We were just trying to kind of start all over. And uh, my sister and I chose Texas because thought it would be like uh, dirt roads and Indians because we were young and had no idea. Like, yay, we get to ride a horse to school. To say the least, there was nothing like that. <laughs> it's massive. Houston's massive. I remember getting there like, what are all these roads? What is this? Man, and that's where we kind of started over. Um, so, I mean, pretty. I grew up a little bit in Missouri, but I'm a Texas girl at heart. Well, then I was going to ask about Missouri. Whereabouts in Missouri? Was it it's, near St. Louis or no? Um, I always just say St. Louis because I, I just my background is not something I like to really go into. But okay. Until I, tell my story, but it's Moberly, Missouri, and most people have no idea where that is, so I just say, you know, it's St. Louis. Because everyone knows that. <laughs> everyone yeah, I knows do the same where thing it is. People ask and Moberly all is like this big, you know, unless you're from Missouri, you're not going to know that city, so I just kind of, yeah, St. Louis. You came to Texas, and although you didn't get the horse <laughs> and ride the horse, was it a good move for you? Did you enjoy that then? Yes. Um, and for the family even. Yes. And you know, at the time when you're a kid, you're like, oh, my friends, my this, my that. That's hard because you said you're what, about seven, eight yes, years old? Yes. And you know, we don't know what you're you're getting into with that. You don't know what's best for you. And I look back and my mother made a huge change and a, a, a life altering change for the best of us, even though it was hard and it took everything. It was, it's well worth it. I would have never gotten into everything that I've gotten into, I don't think, back in Missouri. You know, there's that small town, small limits to say the least, you know. Did your brother also move with you? No, my brother is still back there. In Missouri? Uh, yeah. Was that hard? I mean, it's, again, you're so young. Was it hard as far as so, yeah, leaving he, your brother and brother, all? We have a, you know, he was, he was in a little bit of trouble and my mother for the, like for the best of us, same with my father, you know, we chose to just get up and leave and start over and leave that behind and that's really hard to understand when you're a kid yeah you're just le right exactly so it's hard at any age yeah, but you're you that know. young mm -hmm. it's hard and you did the move and came down here uh, yeah. came to Houston area yeah. and all yeah. and did that later on did did you always keep in touch with your brother? And, and um, not really. My, um, my brother's been in and out of a correctional facility, so he's been in a lot of trouble. And that's, that's really hard because you look at someone that you love so much, and you're like, why can't you just, for the better, just be good? I want to have a life with you. Um, same with my father. And that I struggle with a lot. My sister is mentally stronger than me, whereas I'm physically tougher. I just couldn't grasp that. I had a really hard time with it. And emotionally... Um, as I got older, I, I realized that that's just something that they had to deal with on their own, that I had no, you know, no choice over the matter. There's nothing I could do, and I had to let go, so. How supportive, then, has your mom been, and just everything that you've been able to do? I would not be, my mother is my best friend still to this day. I mean, we're a lot alike, so we bump heads. We're the same person, just 20-something years apart. That must be hard um, for your sister. Yes, because my sister is like the very mellow, oh, whatever, oh, I got a flat tire, mm. and I'm just like, nah, you know, the over-the-top, animated, crazy, panicky type person like my mother. We're the same, and the aggression, and, you know, so her and I, we, we kind of bumped heads, but without her, I would not have been able to do it. You know, she is what taught me to be strong, and to make it as far as I have, but I've also, because I've only had her, I've had to be able to stand on my own two feet at a very young age. I mean, she, we didn't have any money when we came to, to Texas, so she would work two and three jobs, and we would have to either stay in the car before we had the house, and then we got a little small apartment and have to stay and babysit ourselves. At seven, eight years old, that's, that's hard, you know, lock the door, you can't go outside, hours after hours, and nobody's there, you, just you and your sister, that's it. So imagine our bond. That's all we had was each other. Also, I'd appreciate things that you have now. Yes, everything that I have, I have attained myself. I've never had a single thing given to me. Um, lunch money was hard to come by, and that's not a oh, sappy, feel sorry for me story, because now that is why I'm so strong. That's why I'm courageous. That's why I know that I don't care what it is. I can get it, and I will get it. My mom's always says, she's like, I've just never seen somebody. If you want it, you're going to get it. It's just because I never had it. I never had it, and I never want to do without ever again. Oh, my gosh. Now, uh, being the success that you've had and uh, talking about your family and all, when you decided, I'm going to try pro wrestling, what does your mom say? What does your sister say? My sister, she's like, wait, what? 
God, you're perfect for that. Because we would watch wrestling weekly when we were growing up. And I'm like, hey, let's go into bed and like have a wrestling match. You know, obviously didn't want to. I'm suplexing her and dropping elbows on her and clotheslines. And she's like, good God, that's like your, I think that's uh, your, your therapy. That's what you need. And my mom, you know, at first she's like, that's going to be a lot of work. You know, you're an athlete, but, you know, that's really physical. You know, I don't want you breaking your neck. And, you know, just the typical mom thing. And then she, you know, she helped me pack up and made me go. And after I left, I'm not going to lie, it was, a, I think, a few weeks after I wanted to quit. I was crying every day, just taking bumps and learning it. And I wasn't getting it. And it was the most painful thing I have ever put my body through in my life and I, I remember calling and I'm like mom I can't do this I, I have to come home and I just she just silent she's like nope you're staying there suck it up and just hangs up on me and I'm like oh my god it wouldn't answer my phone for three days uh, my sister wouldn't and that was her way of letting me sit and think it through instead of doing something irrational out of emotion or you know something that was tough otherwise I probably would have given up if she would have just came you know, to me and said, okay, you know, mommy's coming. But she didn't. She made me toughen up and I stayed. Well, Miss Ted. It's nothing like what you see. That's all I can say. It is nothing like what you see on TV. Um, I think you get a little bit of it, but you don't get the full picture. Um, but I, I did stick it through. Thank God, because now I'm living my dream. Where was was that in Houston? That was or in uh, deep Houston? south uh, uh, in uh, Atlanta. Oh, that it was, was Atlanta. Training, yeah, training facility I had. I mean, uh, when I got my contract, they gave me a contract. I had one month to pick up everything and leave, and that month flew by, and I just couldn't believe. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm leaving everything, my whole family, animals, my boyfriend, what I was doing at home. You know, I couldn't take any of that with me. I'm just like, okay, am I sure? And in my head, I'm like, yes, this is why I've wanted to do this forever. I've always been a fan. This is amazing. And I, I get there, and it, it almost was a letdown because I thought I was just going to quit and give up and Thank God I didn't or wouldn't be here. Deep South, though, that was one of the toughest because that was the masked assassin. Yes. You know, his real name, whatever his real name Bill is, that's DeMont. fine. Right. And then uh, Bill was there, too. See, so I didn't know that. Was the masked uh, assassin, yeah. was, uh, Jody was there. Jody. I won't say his whole name. Jody was there. Jody. Bill DeMott yep. was there. So you had two. Great. Anyone that knows Physical. Jody and how right you yeah. are going to get a workout of your life if you can make it through that. Yeah. But at the time, you probably didn't know that, all right, if I make it with these two guys, there's a good chance that I'm going to do well, okay. I didn't know, but I just knew that I had heard. They asked me, and they normally don't give you an option. I don't know why they asked me. And they're like, do you want to go to Louisville or do you want to go to Deep South? And I had heard that Deep South was a little tougher. In my mind, I'm like, okay. I, now I don't know the extent of tough, but in my mind I'm thinking, okay, if I go there and I get my ass beat, then maybe I'll move up faster, I'll learn faster. You know, that was my mentality, and it almost cost me my career, but it's tough love. You know, he didn't give me anything that I couldn't handle. From that, you came to Deep South after being a model, yes, correct? Yes, right, straight from winning Miss Hawaiian Tropic, Texas. Straight after that, it was in within months. Bill DeMont, mm -hmm. tough man. Oh my God. Respected, but tough man. Tough. Jody, another tough man. Yeah. Here comes this little model. Miss Hawaiian. Hi. Exactly. I'm just going to breeze through this. And they're like, yeah, anyways. Do you think they were tougher, and not to be negative, but do you think they were a little tougher on you just because of that background? I do think so. And and Bill was always, you know, he's like, I just see, I see something in you. I know you can do it. You know, he, he just, he just had a way of tough love. That's just the way it was. It wasn't, and I hate when I go back and I hear people, you know, bash him or talk about how he, he trained wrongfully. And I, I don't agree with that. Um, if you're a wrestler, you should be prepared to get into the ring or you want to be a wrestler for everything that he dishes you. He didn't beat the crap out of anybody in a means to where you're not going to get back up or teaching you a lesson or how to work. You know, so I have much respect for him.